The study is supported by a research grant from Alcon Vision LLC and the authors have no financial interest related to this presentation. Hey doc, what's wrong? I've been operating a lot lately. I'm having some neck pain and stiffness. Why don't you try the three-dimensional surgery? What's that? Let me explain. Over the last hundreds of years, modes of human transportation have advanced, making it possible for us to travel thousands of miles from carriages to trains to cars and to finally aeroplanes. Akin to this, there have been remarkable developments in the surgical microscopes too. The history of operating microscopes takes us far backward to the uniocular operating microscope followed by the binocular operating microscope and to the most recent high-end binocular standard operating microscope. Evolution of mankind has led us to the present-day man, the Homo sapiens, with an erect posture. However, it is astonishing to notice that certain modern-day devices have compelled us to revert to the former posture resulting from the uncomfortable bend of our spines while operating them. The most recent development in the field of ophthalmic surgery has been the three-dimensional heads-up visualization system, the Ingenuity. We at our institute conducted a study which aimed at finding significant differences, if any, between the standard operating microscope and the Ingenuity three-dimensional visualization system via we certain predetermined parameters. This study included 123 eyes operated for cataract. Our purpose was to compare outcomes, ease of visualization and comfort of the surgeon while performing phacoemulsification using the Ingenuity 3D system versus the standard operating microscope. And our team involved 5 surgeons. Patients were randomized on the basis of the last digit of the patient's identification number, odd numbers being operated under Ingenuity system and even numbers under the standard operating microscope. In the outpatient department, each patient was subjected to a detailed ophthalmic evaluation and we included patients with nuclear sclerosis grade 2 and above, including mature cataracts. Patients were recruited in the study only after a thorough informed consent. We compared the comfort and visualization of the surgeon during surgery and post-operative outcomes of the patients operated under each system. The primary effectiveness endpoint was ease of visualization of the surgeon rated on a scale of 1 to 5 with 1 being not easy and 5 being very easy to visualize. The secondary effectiveness endpoints were presence or absence of corneal edema on first post-operative day, presence of flare and anterior chamber cells on the first post-operative day, ease of visualization during capsular excess, irrigation, aspiration and IOL insertion. This was achieved by means of a questionnaire the surgeon's comfort score that the surgeon filled after surgery and on post-operative day one for each patient under the study. The grading was done on a scale of one to five, one being the most difficult and five being the easiest. Ease of visualization during various steps of the surgery from incision, capsular excess, hydromanoeuvres, phacoemulsification, irrigation aspiration, intraocular lens insertion, and wound hydration. We found that in our study, 59% of patients were females and 41% were males. Average age of the patients was 60 years. Our analysis showed that the neck comfort after surgery was better while using the Ingenuity system for four of the surgeons, for three of which it was statistically significant. One surgeon found the standard operating microscope more comfortable, but this was not statistically significant. All five surgeons could operate with significantly lower brightness of the surgical field while using the Ingenuity system. All five surgeons were significantly more comfortable with lower brightness of the surgical field while using the Ingenuity system. All five surgeons required significantly lower illumination of the surgical field while using the Ingenuity system, which also led to a better patient comfort and cooperation.
all five surgeons were equally comfortable while doing the various steps of phaco emulsification, including capsular excess, irrigation aspiration, and IOL insertion using the Ingenuity system and the standard operating microscope. Our analysis of the slit lamp findings on post-operative day one showed that the post-operative corneal edema was significantly more with the standard operating microscope as compared with the Ingenuity system only for surgeon one, while it was statistically insignificant for the others. Also, the post-operative anterior chamber reaction was significantly more with the standard operating microscope as compared to the Ingenuity system only for surgeon one, while it was statistically insignificant for the others. To summarize, the 3D visualization system was significantly more comfortable for the surgeons while operating. It required lesser illumination for surgery leading to a better patient cooperation. The 3D system was hands down a superior teaching tool when compared to the standard microscope. The post-operative outcomes were comparable. With the 3D system, it was easy to follow the social distancing norms even in the operation theatre during these COVID times.